Cut the cord while staying in the game with the Corsair HS70 wireless gaming headset. Memory foam ear cups provide long-lasting comfort backed by superior sound quality and a detachable noise-canceling microphone. Enjoy up to 16 hours of battery life and a 40-foot range through a low-latency 2.4 GHz wireless connection. Click the link in the description to learn more about the HS70 wireless. Babe, how you doing? Good. Can't wait to leave Taiwan, though. Why? So we just checked into our hotel. We're in the room right now. It's pretty tiny. We figured that we could do some laundry here because they actually have washing machines and drying machines, but uh, we don't know how to change the temperature. So we're not sure if it's gonna ruin our clothes or not, but that's okay because uh, we have a human washing machine that is on top of it. I'm not sure if this is a Samsung or an LG, but- This is a Hanson. That's a Hanson. Sounds like a knockoff brand. Robot restaurant. What the hell is this? Should we check it out? Yeah. What kind of RGB hellhole did we just step into? Well, that was fun. I liked it. I'm actually kind of jealous that they got to use copywritten music and still make a profit off of it. We're in Japan, we just went to a bar in Japan and we were super drunk. We had like 16, 16 cocktails. I cannot count the cocktails we've had. So many. Oh my God, so many. I don't know how or what or why, but there's something about your umbrella. That's just... <laughs> We're in the Akihabara district now, and I've been led to Yodobashi, which is a massive, massive electronics store. Let's see what's inside. This is what looks to be an Inwin 303 at first glance, but in reality, it's a G-Tune chassis, which I've never heard of. This one has a built-in optical drive. I guess this case manufacturer and Inwin both go to the same OEM for this particular case. I also thought that was a Wraith Spire cooler at first, but it's actually an Intel platform. Not exactly sure about the CPU, but we are on the Z270 chipset, and this is a GTX 1080, but look, it's rocking some sort of reference design that I do not recognize. It's certainly not a founder's edition from NVIDIA, but uh, it is a GTX 1080 nonetheless. I saw it on the sticker right there. So I'm already pretty overwhelmed by the sheer size of this place. But the other thing that you guys might not have known is that this is actually a nine-story building. There are eight more floors to explore. Now, I thought this was an Asus ROG Swift PG348Q when I first saw it, but it's actually... What is the model number here? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? XG35VQ. It's got all the same specs, G-Sync, 100 hertz, ultra-wide, but one cosmetic difference I spotted was that the little accent here on the stand is actually red and not gold, like the uh, the one that we have back in the U.S. Pricing is 140,000 yen, which is about $1,400 U.S. That puts it about $400 more than what you could find the PG348Q on Amazon for, so... So, pretty pricey. NZXT H700i, or as they call it here, H700W, for the white and black, almost 28,000 yen, which uh, equates to about 250 US dollars. You can find this case right now on Amazon for about 195. Not finding any deal so far, but what do you expect from an island? $400 for the Ryzen 7 2700X. It's about $80 more than the US. $409 for the Core i7-8700K. Make it stop. <laughs> MSI's B360M mortar titanium goes for about $105 in the States. Here, it's more like $145. ROG Strix Z370F Gaming going for around $237 US. You can buy it on Amazon right now for $190.
Ouch. All right, let's take a look at the memory. Not expecting any miracles here. Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4 2x8 gig kit. So 16 gigs, 2666. 24,000 yen is about $219. That's a pretty steep hike over the US pricing of 175. The G Skill Rip Jaws 5 kits aren't looking that much better. TBH. Zotac GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. Not sure if it's Amp Edition or Amp Extreme or whatever, but uh, I pulled it up on Amazon. And right now the Amp Extreme Core Edition is $800 US. Uh, 120,000 yen for this one is about 1100. Damn. Strix Gaming GTX 1060 going for about $420. Asus GTX 1050 anywhere between $170 and $180. Radeon RX Vega 64 will set you back about a cool grand here in Japan. Wild Gigabytes RX 570 goes for just shy of $500 US. If you live in Japan and you're into PC building, I'm sorry. Truly from the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry for everything. You know, the prices here are really nothing to write home about. In fact, they're pretty gosh darn awful. But just the sheer volume of hardware they have uh, kind of allows you to build any system you want. Just the options. The options here are phenomenal. You hear that song in the background? That's the theme song for Yodabashi Camera. And they play it all day. Every day. I hope they pay their workers well. Well, that was fun. My senses are a bit overloaded right now. And if you guys were wondering where Wifey Sauce was this whole time, she actually wasn't feeling great this morning. <laughs> so she hung back at the hotel, which is where I'm going right now. So let's check on her, see how she's doing. Sleeping. It's so late. Get up. <laughs> So we just checked into our hotel here at the Gora Kadan. This is a ryokan, which is basically a traditional Japanese inn that's located near a hot spring. Hot springs are basically uh, formations of water that are naturally warmed by volcanic structures, and there's a ton of them here in Hakone. And this is a really nice hotel, probably the nicest hotel Wifey Sauce or I have ever been to. Now it goes without saying that it is not cheap to stay here, which is why Wifey Sauce and I are only here for one night, just for the experience. And I wanted to give you guys a quick room tour because our room is incredible. But I just remembered that Lyle, my twin brother, who some of you guys are already familiar with, actually stayed in this exact room when he was visiting Japan last year, and he recorded his own room tour. So instead, I'm just going to play you his room tour, uh, and you guys let me know what you think. Oh, we are here at the Goro Kodan. 